All right, I'm going to keep the costume. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to walk around. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Asia One Tries, where we discover local traditions and cultures. I'm Muna, and today we are in what I think is Red Hill. Don't really come here a lot, and I'm totally thrown off because all I see are buildings, so I have no idea how it's related to art or culture. But please give me my three hints. Okay, Muna, here are three hints for you, and if you guess the activity correctly, it'll help you in the activity challenge later. Expressive, bold makeup. Music. Oh, make up. Music. I'm performing. I'm performing a dance. What kind of dance? Is there any more hints? It's Chinese. Oh, it's Chinese! Chinese opera! Yes, Mona, the activity that you'll be trying today is Chinese opera. I've never watched a Chinese opera. I've seen it in movies, but I really have no knowledge whatsoever about it, so... Oh my god, I'm going in blind. But I'm excited. Let's go. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Hi, I'm Muna. Hi, I'm Nick Shen. Hi. I'm a Chinese opera actor and also the father of Tok Tok Chang. Oh, yes. Thanks for having me here. Everything is so beautiful and I'm so excited. Can you tell me more about what you do here at Tok Tok Chang? I founded Tok Tok Chang a few years back to promote arts and culture in Singapore. I'm also the troop leader of the oldest Teochew opera troupe in Singapore, Lao Sai Tao Yuan. Ooh. Yeah, you guess how long has it been in Singapore? 50, 50 years? years? More yeah. than that, it has been around for 159 years. So even before Singapore was Singapore? Yes. <gasps> wow, that's really amazing. So maybe you can go into what exactly is Chinese opera then? Chinese opera is uh, a traditional art form um, that incorporates various art forms such as wushu, acrobatics, mm. singing, acting, water sleeves, etc. How did it come to Singapore? In the 19th century, the immigrants brought Chinese opera to Singapore and it was very popular back then. Yeah. But it started 1,000 over years ago. Yeah, And yeah, like you said, because there are so many different art forms that come together, right? So to me, it's always such a big spectacle and I've never watched it live, so I'm getting goosebumps, but I've always been interested to know more about it. Right. How did you get involved in Chinese opera? Uh, I started when I was a little boy. My grandma, she would carry me to watch Teochew opera in Tang Ling Hot area because there were many street operas back then and I was really fascinated by the shining costumes, um, the headgears, yeah. especially the fighting scenes. I was intrigued by you know, the warrior on stage. Mm -hmm. So I actually transformed my living room into a stage and I would imagine my grandma's room as the makeup room backstage and I would use poster colour to paint my face. So that was how I started and I forced my grandma and my brother to be my audience. How long does it take to pick up and learn Chinese opera? And Muna, there's a saying, one minute on stage takes about 10 years of hard work, perseverance and true passion. Mm. So usually, around 10 years, as long as they have the passion and perseverance to learn this art, usually about 2-3 years to master the art. Oh, okay, well as always, I don't have 2-3 years, but I have the passion and perseverance. So okay. can you take me through sure, Chinese sure, opera? Sure, sure. Alright, we are in hair and makeup. Yes, <laughs> Chinese opera makeup. Your first time? Yes, my first time. So you gotta walk me through it. Don't worry. Yeah. We have one of the best makeup artists here. Alright, so you're in good hands. Okay. Oh my goodness, I feel like a totally different person. Do you like a look? I Turn one round. <laughs> wow. Muna, let me demonstrate how to ride the horse with a horse whip. Muna, you have seen the demonstration now. Okay. Alright, and since you guessed the activity correctly, you have five minutes to learn how to ride the horse with a horse whip. Are you ready? I mean, I thought 
I'll get more time, but okay, five minutes is All right, three, good two, enough. one, go. Okay. This way. All right. This way. Then you kick your right leg. Kick. Yes. Right go leg. one round. One round. All right. Then you're up on the horse. Go like this to right the horse. Left over right, and then draw one big circle. Draw one big circle. And we're gonna ride the horse. Oh. So when we turn one full round, right, we go like this. Then your left hand up. Catch, all right. Throw up. Well what done. Never mind. If, if, you, if you drop, never mind. If you drop, you just go one just round. Just keep going. Okay, just okay, keep okay. Just go one okay. round, and then oh, you just draw one big circle again. Then you strike the pose. Uh, your strike time the is up. Okay. okay. So Muna, are you ready to show us what you have learned? I think so. Oh, come ah, on. Okay. I give a big round of applause to Thank support you. you. <laughs> oh, okay. Three, two, one, action. Awesome! You did it so well! <laughs> Very good! Very good! I like can see Nick looking at me and I was like, oh my god, am I doing it correctly? I'm giving you positive energy. Ah, I think you did great. Thank you so much! Well done! Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10. So because you didn't learn it within 5 minutes, right? <laughs> I give you 9 upon 10. Oh. Very good! Thank Brilliant! You. Yes! You know, um, there's still a little bit room for improvement. Yes. Practice makes perfect. Just a practice more. Come to our troop. I will sign a contract with you. All right? Oh, wow. Lifelong contract. <laughs> this is in like video form already. Yes. Right? It's binding. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep the costume. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna walk around. <laughs> All right, so Nick, thank you so much for that session. Thank you. Uh, I want to know, what is the significance of Chinese opera in our cultural landscape? I think it's a significant traditional art form, rich in history, but unfortunately, it's a dying art, not just in Singapore, but all around the world. And so how do you think we can preserve Chinese opera? When we perform in a theatre, it's important to have subtitles so that the younger generation can understand what we are performing. Do you think that people from different cultures should also get into Chinese opera, learn more about it, even perform it? Because, you know, there is the barrier of language, like you said. I think Chinese opera is not just a performance. It's also about teaching good moral values. Like my grandma, she taught me good moral values through Chinese opera. So I think Chinese opera is for everyone. Any people from all walks of life, from different countries, can get to appreciate Chinese opera or perform Chinese opera. Hmm, and find their meaning with it, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Art is really for everybody. Yes. So it doesn't matter which culture you're from. It's about you appreciating something that you learn and that you pick up from. Yes, like absolutely. today, you know? Where do you see the future of Chinese opera? You see, these days we have like dramas on Chinese opera and even songs like Jay Chow, you know, there are many singers that try to incorporate Chinese opera element into their pop songs. More young people will get to know it. Thank you for sharing this art form with me. I really would have, have dreamed like to be able to do it. From Great. makeup to wardrobe to movements. Next is singing and lines. Yeah. <laughs> That would be advanced theory <laughs> yeah, next yeah. week. <laughs> oh, next week? Oh, we've already scheduled it. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you, Muna. Thank nice you. Meeting you. Nice meeting you. <laughs> oh my god, that was one of the coolest things ever. I feel like I say that about every activity of this show, but this one, I think my favorite part was the transformation. I'm a completely different person. Muna, who? No, okay? This is different. I've always known about it in films, I read about it, but I think it's so different when you're actually on-site learning from the masters. And there's so much that really goes into it, from putting on makeup to costumes. And I really hope that I get to catch it live one day. I do believe that it shouldn't be restricted to, you know, people of just the Chinese ethnicity. I think art is really for everybody and language shouldn't be a barrier. I mean. The fact that you're exposing yourself to someone else's culture, learning another language. I think a lot more people should find appreciation in Chinese opera, like I have today. Look at me. Oh sorry, I think they're calling me for rehearsal already. I'm part of the troupe now. Catch up performance soon guys. Bye.